All right, man. It's another Friday. So if you guys don't know, man, Friday is going to be the official day that we do our case battles, man. And we do have another case battle up on deck. Now, I know I put a poll up the other day, I think yesterday, asking you what battle that you wanted to see next. And a lot of you guys chose the Sheath versus the Mouse Limitless 4.0. And I was like, you know what, man? The champion deserves a day off, all right? The champion deserves a fight off. I'm not going to put anything up against the Sheath today. But as you can see in front of us, we have two very similar cases, two very expensive cases if i can say that we have the pataka mag easy pro case and we have the mouse limitless 4.0 now i know this is a battle that you guys also wanted to see i think this was the second highest ranked battle that you wanted to see man so i was like you know what let's go ahead and do it in i just got the pataka case in maybe a couple days ago the mouse has been here kind of since day one i really know a lot about this mouse and I'm still learning the Pataka Mag Pro case as well, but let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's do the battle, and you already know how the format goes. Well, there kind of isn't a format yet. We're working on it, man, but let's go ahead and put these two cases head-to-head, -head and um, at the end, let's see which one I put on top, all right? So here you go. Pataka on this side, the mouse on this side. Now, they both, as you can see, have a type of carbon fiber design, all right? This is more of the little weave type, I think. This is that more of an air med fiber, where this, I think, more mostly is kind of like a print. I don't think it's actually made out of that material and it could be the same with the Pataka case I'm not 100% sure but both both cases are made very similar as you can see both cases do have very minimal branding because I know a lot of you guys out there just don't like branding on a case I get it you like more simplistic and not the words just splattered on the back of it you get it and you know, I understand where you're coming from so definitely looks to pretty much the same as all that taking a look at the camera bumps as you see the Pataka really has a nice subtle bump that kind of just edges and kind of rounds over i really like the way that look looking at the mouse it's a little bit more subtle because the case is actually going to be a little bit thicker than the pataka mag easy pro case so if you look at the two cases right here you can definitely see that the pataka is going to be a little bit more thin when we are talking about overall thickness of a case and uh yeah it's definitely a more thinner a definitely a lighter case and since we're doing something new now, man, we had to bring a scale to the channel, man. A lot of you guys might want to know how much these things weigh. Some people in the comment section said, see, I want to know the weight of each case. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and give you the weight. So let me go ahead and zero that out. First up, let me go ahead and put the Pataka up there and see how much that weighs. And this is in grams. So as you can see, the Pataka Mag Easy Pro case is 29 grams. Now, I can probably guarantee that the mouse is going to be a little bit heavier. So put that mouse on. 37 grams all right so that's kind of what i expected because just holding them in hand you can definitely tell a big difference on which one is a little bit lighter now let's go ahead and flip it over on the inside and you see very similar characteristics when it comes to this you can see that they both have mag safe so mouse has the mag safe and the pataka has its mag system that has been going on for a while now but they're not kind of new to this whole magnet thing they've been doing it for a while they have uh, perfected it and it's definitely good. Now, one thing that the Advantage has on the Pataka is it does have a nice felt liner on the inside that's gonna protect the back of your iPhone. Now, looking over here at the mouse, it's just the material that's on the back of it, all right? It's just the material that's on the back of it. But also looking on the inside, you can see that the Limitless has that shock absorption material that is going all the way around. And looking at the Pataka, you're not seeing any of that when we're talking about shock absorption going around. You just got the material of the case. So I got to give a point to the, the Pataka because they have a failed liner. But at the same time, I got to give another point to the Limitless because it has that shock absorption that everybody wants, especially when we're talking about drop protection. Now, no, I don't really go off of drop ratings. I don't go to the website to see what drop ratings are with both of these cases because we already know when you drop a case, it doesn't matter what case your phone is in. It can still potentially break. So I'm not going to tell you one is more protected than the other. But if I had to tell you that spec, if I had to tell you that stat, I probably would definitely give the more protection to the mouse just because it does have that shock absorption material. And also just because I feel like it just feels a little bit more rigid than the Pataka uh, Mag Pro case. Now, one thing about the Pataka Mag Pro, and I'm looking at the uh, mouse to see if it has it. If you can look at the edges right here, the Mag Pro has seen some of these reinforced edges. So you get a little bit more material when it comes to the edges. And looking at the mouse, it's just the case going around it. So, yeah, you may not get the shock absorption that you get on the mouse, but you do get some more reinforced edges. 
tends to help it out a little bit. So let's go ahead and slap the phone on the mouse real quick. And we're just gonna set this in the background so we can kind of spectate. So here it is. This is gonna be the mouse, Limitless 4.0. Now, one thing to take note of when we're talking about designs of a case, people like options, people like different variations. When it comes to the Pataka, you're not getting anything but this look when it comes to Pataka. There's no different colors, there's no different patterns, there's no different anything. You're gonna get this Pataka look when it comes to this case. But when you move over to the Limitless case, as you can see, you have options, all right? This is gonna be the air mid fiber, basically the carbon fiber pattern. This is gonna be, I never knew what this kind of was. It was kind of like a rubbery, fabric-y material, man. This is weird, but I don't know what material this is, but I really, really like it. And this one is gonna be a pebbled leather version. And I think they also have just a plain version, I think. And they also have a, a wood back version. They have many different variations when it comes to the mouse. So I definitely have to give that to the mouse when we're talking about look, is you just have a few different options. You may not just wanna deal with this carbon fiber design, but if you don't, they have different options that you can go out and choose. Now, let's go ahead and take first look at that lay on the table protection. Let me move this out of the way because it's trying to focus on it. So look at that lay on the table protection. And you know, I am rocking that tempered glass screen protector. It has a nice little lip. As you can see, it's got that ski ramp lip, as I say, which means it's flush in the middle and goes up at the top, flush in the middle, goes up at the bottom. So you definitely have a nice little lay on the protection there. And uh, pretty good, pretty good. So before we get out of it, let's just go ahead and check the camera. You can see that the camera is recessed just in about every case out there. Every camera is basically going to be recessed. And also, let's take a look at the buttons. All right. So you get that cut out for that mute toggle. Nice and generous there. Buttons are the buttons that has the slits in them. So some people are concerning about getting dust in there. We got to make that a thing because some people don't like that. So the buttons do have slits in there. But let's just go ahead and test the buttons out and see how it feels. They're nice and tactile, Would be a little stiff, but they are tactile, it doesn't feel good. Power button also feel good as well. And taking a look at the bottom, you can see you have two equal cutouts when it comes to the ports at the bottom. Something to make note of, a lot of companies do that and uh, I, they, I'm trying to find a case that's in reaching distance, but they don't because the Pataka actually has the exact same thing where they have the equal cutouts. So, Buttons, everything, lay on tail protection seems pretty good on the mouse, all right? So let's go ahead and go with the uh, Pataka real quick and see how the buttons are and see how everything is. And then we'll kind of go from there. We'll move on to how it fits on the phone. So taking a look at that mute toggle switch, it's a little bit more tightly knit in there. So it's gonna be a little hard to get to, but the buttons definitely feel better on the Pataka than it does the mouse, all right? The buttons just are, a little bit more tactile and clicky. Taking a look at the bottom, like I said, you have those equal cutouts and that power button, also very nice and tactile. And also these buttons do have the little air slits in them as well. And taking a look at that lay on the tail protection, uh, actually the lay on tail protection on the camera is good. And when we're talking about looking at it on the phone itself, I'm trying to see if it has that type of ski. No, not really. This just basically has a even little lip that goes all the way around it. So it definitely has a nice little lip when we are talking about going over the lip protection. Now, since we have the Pataka case up there, let's go ahead and move on to the fit category because this is gonna be one that it should be very close because both phones have an amazing, amazing fit, but I do think one edges it out over the other. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Coming along the top, very, very stiff on the top. No budging just about whatsoever. Come along the bottom, the side, you get a little give when it comes to the buttons. Super stiff, not going anywhere when you get to that bottom. Coming along the bottom here on the side, definitely, definitely only droops right there where that lightning port is. Super snug on each side of that port. Coming along the right side, super snug all the way until you get right there. And that is going to give you a little give when it comes to that button. So overall, the fit of this case is very good. Let's go ahead and take out how easy it is to get the case off. So the, the, the fit is good, but you can still get the case off fairly easy. So that's not gonna be a deal breaker when it's coming time to take the case off because I know a lot of you guys always say, sometimes, you know what, I struggle getting the case off, all right? So pretty nice fit, no, pretty nice fit. Let's go ahead and see what the mouse Limitless has going on. Let me clear this notification out real quick. And let's see what the mouse Limitless 4.0 has going on when we are talking about the fit. So let's go ahead and start it off. Fit, 
on the top it pulls a little bit but it snaps right it's this is a material that's very stiff not going to worry about drooping or anything like that so it definitely feels pretty good coming along the side you give a little bit when it comes to the buttons but it's very very stiff a little bit stiffer than the pataka coming down to the sides no pull super duper snug come along the bottom it, it's very snug. It doesn't give as much as the Pataka because this, this material is just a little bit more rigid anyway. Coming along the sides, very, very stiff. Very stiff when it comes to that power button. Popping this case on, a little bit tougher, which means it has a snugger fit. So the fit of this case, I feel, is better than the Pataka case, all right? Going around the sides, they just, they're just they just about even. This one has just a little bit more of a flimsier material when it comes to that, you know, because the, the Pataka Pro case is more of a, a, a hybrid style case where it has case and it then has basically like a rubber style. Well, this material right here, I feel is just more rigid when it comes to actually the frame and everything like that. So I have to give a fit to the Mouse Limitless 4.0. Now, Next up is the grip. How is it gripping in hand? Now, I feel both of these cases are very similar when we are talking about gripping them in hand because both, to me, are a little bit slippy. And you see they have no grip on the sides, you all right? You know, you bring something like the sheath in here that's kind of textured, but I said the champion is not in here. We're not going to talk about it. But if you look at the sides, it's a little bit more smoothed out. So when you're holding the mouse, it definitely feels like the sides are a little bit slippery. It's not so slippery where it probably could be an issue for me, but I have to make a note of that it does feel just a little bit on the, the slippery side. I wish it had a little bit more grip. You know, guys, I always say cases. I wish they had more grip. But holding the Bataka Mag Easy Pro case, it... I don't know if I, the grip is almost about the same, but how it feels in the hand is definitely different because I said in my Pataka Easy Pro case reviews, these sides to me are just a little bit on the sharp side. All right. These need to be rounded. I feel like a little bit more, although the mouse case kind of has the same type of sides. I feel like this just needs to be rounded off a little bit more. Holding it in the hand is thinner. It definitely feels a little bit more comfortable because you feel you like you have a less case in your hand. So it's definitely, definitely thinner. Man, uh, the holding in the hand, I probably still have to go with the Pataka because of the material. Although it doesn't have that much grip, I feel like this material is maybe a little bit more grippier than the mouse material. It's kind of weird. They're very close, but I do feel like the Pataka edges, edges it just a little bit when it comes to the grip category. Now... Let's go ahead and go to MagSafe, all right? Let's go to the MagSafe strength because you guys know every case has different strengths when it comes to the MagSafe. So let's go ahead and put this one right here. Let's go ahead and pop this on MagSafe and you see it works perfect with MagSafe and it's trying to pick up this stainless steel block. So you know that means that's gonna be a strong magnet there. So very nice strong magnet always on Pataka cases. They're very strong. They don't really never disappoint. Coming to the mouse, you see it works just fine with the MagSafe. Picking it up, noticeable weaker magnet, all right? Like, it's not even trying to attempt to pick up the, 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 the stainless steel Nomad block that we got here. So noticeably weaker uh, magnet, even when you're just doing like this, you can tell it kind of, you got to kind of make sure you find that spot that's on it, but it does work just fine with MagSafe. So for me... I have to give the win to the MagSafe over, I got to get it. I got to give it to the Pataka because it's a little bit stronger, all right? So looking at the material on the back, um, even especially when it comes to this carbon fiber material, this isn't like a category, but looking at these two materials, you can see that both of them are going to get their fair share of smudges. It's just that fiber, carbon fiber-ish material. Both are going to have their fair share of smudges, and that's just going to be what it is. And um, man... What else? I think that may be it. Like I said, price. Let's go ahead and talk about the most important spec between these two. And we got to talk about price. And the both cases at this time, I believe, you know, Black Friday sales are going on for both of these cases. All right. I think Mouse may be running a campaign for 50% off their cases for Black Friday. That's an amazing, amazing deal. And I think Pataka has a, a deal going on with this is offering from 5 to 10% off their cases. So both cases at full retail are going to be $64.99. So we are talking about some pretty pricey cases when it comes to this. This is when you're looking on the upper tier of cases when you're talking about the Mouse and 
and when you are talking about Bataka case, this is going to be upper tier. This is going to be cheap. This is for the people who know what they want and know what they get out of these brands. And I got to pre I got to you got to go with it, man, because you have to pay the upper price when you're talking about getting some of these very nice cases. So coming down to the end, which one wins the competition for me? And this is extremely tough. All right. I'm literally in my head right now trying to figure out what the winner is. Now, I know a lot of you guys said make a point system, make a tally system. That is something I am going to do. Try to do it before the next battle because I would like to see the tallies coming along the sides to see which one won what battle. But huh, for me, I think I'm going to have to go with the Pataka Mag Easy Pro case. Although it doesn't feel that sharp in my hands. I love the stronger magnets, all right? I love the nice felt liner on the inside. I do like it that is a tad bit thinner. And just overall, I like the design and the aesthetic of this case. Now, is there something wrong with the mouse case? No, not at all. This case is amazing. Like this is easily one of the top cases out there on the market. You guys seen where I put the mouse on my top cases. I can't remember where I put it. It may have been rated a little further back than what people thought it was going to be, but it wasn't terrible. But when it comes to this, and we're going to go ahead and move this off to the side, but when it comes to the Pataka Mag Easy Pro case, and let's go ahead and throw the throw the phone in the winner real quick. You know, that's how we kind of do. Let's go ahead and throw it on the winner real fast. Let's go ahead and uh, pop it on. And I have to say, this is a very nice case. Now, the mouse case does fit a little bit more snug on it, but I think that makes it easier for people who wants to remove their case often because people don't like to have cases that's hard to remove, and I got to respect that. When it comes to the mouse case, it is a little bit more harder to remove. When it comes to this case, you still get a very nice fit when you're talking about all around, and it's still easy to remove. No issues there. So, Overall, the refinement of this case, man, I feel like this is the winner right here. And the contender, the Mouse Limitless 4.0, the one I had kind of flew off the table over there. So that's off the ground right now. Amazing case as well. The mouse cases are amazing. This will not be the last time that you see a mouse case in a battle, all right? This is going to make another appearance with another battle of a case. Just because the case loses doesn't mean you're not going to see it again, all right? You'll definitely see this again, but right now the champ is going to be, well, not the champ, the winner of this battle is going to be Wataka Maggie's Pro Case, and you never know. We might just have to do this battle right here, man. So stay tuned to the channel. Stay tuned to Fridays because that is when the case battles go down Friday morning, 1030 Eastern Standard Time, maybe a little later. Depends on how long the video takes to edit and upload, but yeah. There it is, man. The winner of this one, Pataka Mag Easy Pro Case. You already know, man. I, I will leave the links to both of these cases, of course, down in the description below. No matter what phone you use, go out there and pick yourself up one. Yes, they are a little bit more expensive, but I can tell you what. These are some of the best cases on the market. And you can go with either one and wouldn't be disappointed. My pick is just going to be the Pataka. But, yo, hope everybody enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section how you like this format of videos. Of course, we are fine-tuning as we go. And, uh, yeah, do the YouTube things. But make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you don't miss out on any of my videos and, of course, the Friday battles. But until next time, everyone be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later. Later.